Well, Lisa and Golston, in about an hour, the Roseville City Council will decide on whether or not to vote for this proposed partnership. It would bring volunteers with the American River Bike Patrol here to Roseville to help people enjoy the trails safely. People who use some of the Roseville City trails might be seeing more volunteers in bright red jerseys riding along with them. We help educate people about trail rules and so forth, and, and we help them out when they, they need help. So, so having a presence out there is good for the city of Roseville. John Poimaru is the assistant patrol director for the American River Bike Patrol. More than 100 volunteers patrol the 32 miles of the American River Parkway and Folsom Lake. It's relatively new, formed in 2020. Our reputation has grown, and so as communities see, oh, we can put a safety patrol of volunteers out there that can do first aid and bike repair. We have nearly 50 miles of trail here in Roseville, and we could not cover all of that trail ourselves. Suzanne Engelke is the assistant transportation planner for the city of Roseville. She says with a growing city and plans to expand and extend trails, she says they need trained experts looking out for trail users. We always want people out there who can look out for one another, especially if you fall, if you your tire maybe has a flat. It's just comforting to know that there might be somebody out there to help you. The bike patrol volunteers are certified in first aid and CPR. Last year, they covered more than 25,000 miles and spent nearly 3,700 hours on the parkway, helping with medical and emergency situations, repairing bikes, and teaching trail etiquette. We're ambassadors of the trail, and we're ambassadors of the city of Roseville, and we work basically for the city of Roseville as their ambassadors to help provide a safety consciousness out on the trail. You guys Well, again, the Roseville City Council's meeting starts at 6 o'clock, and that item is on the agenda tonight. The City Council will vote on that. It is expected to pass. Now, there have been 10 bike patrol volunteers who have already committed to help patrol the trails here in Roseville. They are always looking for more volunteers. So if you're interested, give them a call. Reporting live in Roseville, Michelle Bandour, KCRA 3 News. And so, Michelle, who's going to pay for the patrols? Will it be taxpayers? Uh, that's a good question, Lisa, but because this is an entirely volunteer organization, it won't cost anyone a dime, just the time that the volunteers are giving to help keep things safe. All right, thank you.